Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Cosmeteer. In the previous episode we started again after being killed again and we're back up to the sort of level we were before where we are ready to jump onto the professional sectors and that is what we're going to start this episode by doing. So let's see where the nearest one is. Well, there's a couple over here. That's probably a good direction to go in. There's some up here as well that we might want to get to later on. Uh, but there's some down there as well, so we'll just go to here. Are we in the middle one right now? Yeah, we are. So we've got all sorts of options for where we want to go. Nowhere is particularly far away, because jumping from, say, there to there is probably hundreds upon hundreds of fuel. But yes, we will just go for the nearest one. Let's go for this one here. New Pratilek. It's got four professional level enemies. It's 20 FTL fuel, because we're getting a little bit on the heavy side now, and our FTL drive isn't as efficient as it used to be. There we go, charging it should be easy because the doors are fairly okay. Do need a little bit of rearranging, we do want to do a little bit of construction work before we actually start with the fighting, but it makes sense to jump first because if you do a bunch of building on your ship then it'll be bigger, it'll require more FTL fuel to fly anywhere. So we'll jump first and then we'll fix things. That does mean that there's a slight danger of us being attacked, so we'll pause while we're doing this particular construction. So uh, the main piece of advice I got in the previous episode was to move these up, and that makes a fair bit of sense. I was keeping them back because I was treating them as if they were um, reactor cores, when really what you can do is put them right, say, here, and have them have a direct door going into each of these uh, guns and almost to the shields, not quite. And the idea behind that is that um, they'll be able to run at super high speeds at the start of a fight, which is the most important time, and... Um, not have to waste time with people trying to get from A to B. What I might also do, because this is, like, people are going to be going through doors anyway to get to that particular generator, so it's not going to make a difference whether this is corridor or something else. So let's try building some quarters here, and that way we've got some people who can immediately respond when uh, they are required in a fight. Uh, we'll also, we don't have quite a lot of doors here, unfortunately. It's generally a bad thing. It's not going to be good for fires, but we need a door into every single thing that they're going to, so... It'll just have to be that way. Also, what I think I'm going to do is move these up. We need some extra guns, really, so I'm going to put in some electro bolts on the side. Whoops. Just for a little extra help. They won't do much because they're not pointing in the right direction, really, but... I don't know. They're good backup guns because they'll avoid pretty much all attempts at being electro bolted themselves. And they basically I put them in because they fit nicely into the space that we had there. And people have a direct access to the gun from the uh, energy room. Uh, what else can we do? Because the thing is, now we're in a higher level of difficulty and we've got to worry about much more powerful weaponry and things like that. People being able to bombard us much more heavily and people being able to ionize all our stuff. And at the moment, I am still focusing entirely on energy-based weapons. I've ended up going back to the previous thing and maybe that will come to bite me. So I, I do have to try and think of a way of getting around that. Maybe swapping out some of these for cannons some way or another. Like, perhaps I could have a cannon here and then set up some manufacturing facilities down here for them, maybe. Or maybe storage here and manufacturing towards the middle to keep it safe and out of the way. That sort of thing. We do want to have alternative weapons, really. But we also want to make sure that we pay proper attention to manoeuvring, as we have learned. So how are the numbers right now? Could do with a bit more power, a bit more crew after adding in some extra guns and stuff like that. Fair enough, we can do that. Let's put in these quarters here as we were planning on doing before. That fixes that. Power is still not great. We could do with an extra reactor. Really, it needs to be near the front, because that is where all the power absorbing things are, so how to implement that, I'm not quite sure. It'd be much easier just to have two at the back, really, but that is not where the power is needed. It's needed at the front. Hmm. I want to keep some corridors open so people can freely move through these areas. So it'd have to be behind, really, or, uh, no, not mounted in the side. That would be a death sentence, because we'd just get shot in the side and die. Not a good idea. I don't know what to do, really. But I, what I might do, actually, generally, is widen the ship a bit. Move everything out by a square. Just like that. We've got a bit more room to work. What we can now do here is that, and then put another reactor in the middle of them. To have a big block of them in the middle, hopefully far away enough from danger to not explode, because of course if one goes up the whole thing's gone and we die. And with that we're out of money really, so I guess we'll leave it there. 
I'm going to do a bit of moving of these doors. Let's put these here. want them to be able to go directly straight from one room to the other across. Might even do some stuff with conveyors, but that's awkward because they'll only go one way. As for everywhere else, I think that's pretty good. Uh, these doors want moving down, so we've got quicker access to these engines. We'll do this because symmetry is nice. We've got basically no money. We do want to add some doors here, though, so people can get in and out of those rooms a lot easier. And then, I'm going to move these down and add in some fire extinguishers here if I can afford it. Yeah, I just about can. I can put some somewhere else as well. Let's over oh, there. They're still down there, aren't we? We haven't changed that around yet. At some point, I'll rearrange this, but for the moment, it's fine. Probably at the end of this sector, at least, I'll add in a second FTL drive, and then we can have some nice symmetry in the, uh, the second row here. But that's pretty good, meeting all our demands, just about used up all the money we have. So hopefully we won't explode anytime soon. That would be doom and destruction for us. Let it go back to normal speed. Give everyone a minute to get everything charged again, because of course it's all been uh, it's all been used up by the uh, the replacements happening. And of course a lot of money is spent every time we do that, and it is annoying because I think this game will be better if the like the penalty for selling things was at least much smaller. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I've forgotten some doors. Hold on. Back to this. Doors here, please. So, there we go. So people can actually get to those outer guns, they're sort of important. Uh, but yeah, I think it'd be better if either there was no penalty or it was much smaller. So it was like, uh, you got 90% of the money back. Because it just... I feel like this game th should encourage people to... to rearrange their designs and constantly change things. Whereas it's encouraging you not to do that, and I don't know. It's my thinking of it, Depend depends on uh, how you want to play, I guess. But I like to make constant little tweaks and constantly up upgrade it and add little extra bits to it. And uh, that sort of system doesn't really fit that. Anyway, let's see how we go against our first enemy. Let's hope it's a nice one to start and not something horrific like that donut thing or the thing with a million electrobolts. It's coming into range. What are we looking at? Falcon, what is this? Okay, this is the, the hook to Electric Boogaloo. Let's just target the shield generator and then take out its guns one by one. I say it's the hook, it doesn't actually have the cannon on the side, it's just that shape. But yeah, it is literally just the Millennium Falcon, isn't it? We'll target these guns here as well. And then that, and then let's just tear it apart piece by piece. But yeah, that's quite neat. That, uh, that it's basically based on the Falcon, except the Falcon had torpedoes and stuff, right? Thinking about it, I could have just ignored the shield generator and gone straight for the control room, but whenever we knocked it out now, so we'll destroy it before they can do anything with it. And then we'll just go through their uh, weaponry, piece by piece, one by one, and we should be fine. Shield's holding nicely. Yeah, this is one that can't stand against us very easily. Now that is fine by me. Last gun gone. Let's get rid of the control room so they can't try and avoid being shot anymore. And then we'll just slowly work through to the reactor and that is that done and on we go very nice start nothing went wrong didn't take any damage nice easy ship to start but there are much harder ones here and there are ones that will give us a run for our money i'm sure and here's the next one this is the triraptor this is a not too bad one as well this is let's just that's one where you can just take out the reactor i feel like it's not really that well defended. You can knock out the control room in no time at all. Oh, I say that. They are. That's the thing. They got electro bolts, so they just immediately blast through our uh, our shields and start doing damage. We're about to lose a generator there. But we got their reactor. Oh, we did lose ours, though, just before we could finish. We can repair. 5,000 to replace that. Damn. Well, we'll give it a second to uh, recharge everything. Actually, I think we just set off on our way and they'll have everything recharged by the time we arrive, or oh, what are we doing? Steady on, point in the right direction, will you? The ship does uh, sometimes, like, if it thinks that there's one direction of facing that is better than another for things, then it will switch to that, so if all the rear engines suddenly run out of power for some reason, it'll just start flying sideways, because it's quicker. That sort of thing. And you can switch off diagonal flying, because otherwise they'll do it all the time and it can look silly. But if you switch on diagonal flying, then you could make a ship that actually has a, like, points on a diagonal, which could be an interesting thing. This is the Stomper. I think we've seen this one before. I see a cannon off to the side. 
a very well hidden shield generator and then a couple of guns along here. Once we've taken out the shield generator, we can just go straight for the, the reactor though, so that's fine. In we go. Let's keep an eye on how our shields do. Let's go to that view, always the best one. Is their shield down? Take out the cannon, will ya? Seem to be ignoring it. Did I not set up the orders right? Well, either way, they'll get to the reactor. Starting to... Oh, shields held. One of them failed, but then the other one quickly took up the uh, the slack. And so we are fine. But yeah, recharging everything after a fight is over takes uh, a lot of power from all the reactors. Basically leaves them dead for a minute. But yeah, hopefully by having these here, it keeps everything running a lot more smoothly at the start of the fight when it's most important to get in as many hits as you can to knock out shields and things like that. Falling Star, this one not, doesn't look too bad. This is basically the uh, the professional version of, what is it called? I can't remember what it, it, it was. The, was it the Wing Bat? I think it was the Wing Bat that we had last episode that there was just a million of. But there we go, we'll just queue up destruction of each gun. Just firing all over the place, what are you doing? It's missing by miles, there we go. Landing some hits, but it won't do much. Our shields can easily defend against that sort of uh, damage. And there we are, we made a lot of money from that, that's the thing. The, the further up you go, the more money you get per kill, the bigger the upgrades you can make. Let us jump onto the next sector first. Actually, maybe we should add in the next uh, FTL drive first, because we're losing efficiency a little bit. It might start to make sense to do that. Let's do this, and then we'll get back our control room in the middle here. Connections are good, happy with all those. Yep, that all makes sense. Awesome. And we'll make that so for the moment. Bit of a chunk of our money because we had to move around expensive things. But we'll plot our course to the next location. Now it's only 16. I mean, it is a shorter distance jump, but we're now back up to 100 efficiency by far in terms of our FTL drive, so that's good. Yeah, it just eats the power of an entire reactor and doesn't even finish charging the thing up. And so if you're in a fight, it's it's probably quite a challenge to be able to jump away, especially because you have to stop and face the direction uh, while that's happening. Very easy for the enemy to outmaneuver you for the moment. Right, let's pause and have another look at what uh, whoops, at what we can uh, what we can add. I'd quite like some uh, some side-mounted missile pods, but they're so expensive to do. I don't think we can afford it with what we have so far. I mean, maybe we could put together something, just a, a basic system that we'll then upgrade as time goes on. So I would love to get that started at the very least. Quite a large project, really, in terms of what we'd have to rearrange. I think we'd have to move the, the back of the ship back a fair bit to make the space we'd want to have corridors going through to these new sections. We can start on it. Oops, jumping over there randomly. Let me see, we could move the whole thing down by one, perhaps, and then we'd have a two-wide corridor here and here. Move this down an extra, and then we'd have a two-wide corridor going through to whatever we had over here. Yeah, let's start with that sort of thing. So we'll, we'll just do it manually because we're messing about with things. Move these down to here. Then we've got a bit of room, and what I'll do is move these down. Bring them in a bit, move that door to there so there's easy access to that engine. Put that back in. Then we can move this out and have some missile pods around this area. So for the moment, I'll delete these. And then we'll see what we can add. So first of all, armor would be good now. That we don't have an engine here, because we're going to have the engine on the edge of whatever thing we're building. Protects these a nice bit, because otherwise this was a sort of weak point leading straight to our reactors. Then we want space for the manufacturing facilities, and they are pretty bulky. Whoops. Spin these around, have them like that, perhaps? Gotta make sure they're safe. I should probably mount them further inside the ship. So as not to have everybody die. So build those there. We're short on crew, but we'll fix that. Also gotta make sure there's some doors here, and we'll also move these out to here so it's easy to get to them. Then what we can have is, I'm thinking, putting the pods here. So, having them sunk into it would be good, because they don't need to be, like, right in front of the enemy. They can be nice and protected, hidden by 
behind armor and things like that, and potentially shields. We could try sticking shields on the edge of here. That would be good. It would be nice if we could have a direct door from the storage to the actual missile pods. But we also, not storage, the production to the missile pods, but we also want storage, so that's something to bear in mind. Uh, maybe further out a bit. We, we want them to be safe. I'm just having them out by one so they don't accidentally hit our own ship and not do anything. Let's build them there for now. We can move them otherwise and it won't cost us because we're in the... the what's it mode. Gotta watch out for our lack of crew. We should work on that as we go to make sure we can actually meet the, uh, the extra need. For the moment, let's forsake corridors in the back here so we can have the crew space. There goes all our money. And that's not even getting our crew up to the capacity that the ship wants it to be at, so... There's not much we can do beyond this right now. For the moment, I'm just going to delete these, and I'm going to put back in the engines. And we'll get rid of this armor. Whoops. What does that leave us at? Now we have... 3,000 to spare again. I mean, it's because these are expensive. It's it's basically 3,000 just to buy those, and then it's, uh... Not 3,000, uh, 37... Well, it's, it's 24,000, then those are another 3,000. That's 27. It's all our money. Technically, we can do it, but... I don't want to rush it and not have, like, armor and the necessary crew. And things like that, so... I think for the moment, we'll leave it at that. We'll add a little bit of armor to the outside just to protect these highly explosive things we've just added to our ship. So, something like this. Whoops. That there, and then it goes down on the other side. Let's just make a diagonal. And then this here. A lot of protection on the back, just to be safe. A little bit extra over here as well, while we're looking at it. And then, once we've got a bit more money, we will spend it on adding in some more... ...the actual missile launches and things like that there. Yeah, for the moment, these will be, I guess, sat here ready. I mean, I've, I've bought them, so let's just leave it as it is, and we've got things built how they'll be. It's a bit of a mess at the back, we'll fix it later, but now it's fine. So we'll make that so. Got a bit of money left, let's go start killing people. Once we can fly, we can't yet. We targeted that guy and we're trying to fly forward, but we're just not doing it because we only have our side engines. But there we go. We're on our way. We'll see what we're facing. We've still got the same uh, offensive capabilities as we have before and the same crew capacity relative to, uh, to crew need. And we are facing Skywing. Let's take a closer look at this. We have shield electro bolts. A couple of guns on the back. Ah, missile pod hidden in the side, trying to be sneaky. That's not good, because that will hook round and hit us in the side. That's a problem. I think we go full on against the shield, knock it out as quick as possible, because there's literally a reactor right behind it. So we'll just blow that up and we're good. That'll take out the missiles, the electro bolts, and there'll still be a ship, a functional ship left, but it will be much less dangerous. So that works for me. Let's go slow-mo for this, because I want to... Keep an eye on what the missiles do. They've launched. And yet they are swinging around the side. They've missed, though. They're still going. Oh, they're going to hit us right in the back. Oh, God, they're going to hit us right in the missile. Don't do that. Don't hit there. Please, no. Turn. Turn, turn, turn. Protect the missile pods. There we go. Okay, they're hooking around that side again. So actually reset the rotation. Just go back to how you were. Just let them hit the engines. Oh, not the other side. Oh. Okay, we're all right. Nothing actually blew up there as far as I can tell. Right, how are things going with the actual fight? We've taken out the reactor. We are now... Not the reactor, the shield generator. And the reactor is gone. All right, that's all good. We didn't lose anything from there. We took damage across all of it, but luckily... Oh, we did lose a small bit of armor there, but yeah. That's the thing. Never leave exposed anything explosive on the outside of your ship. Oh, they managed to launch a missile at the last moment. It's time for point defense. I sort of forgot about that, but it is now important to have that. Target that thing. I think we can just blast through and take that out. Don't even bother with the weapons. We can hold the uh, 
Yeah, there we go. We took a hit on the side there. Everything's fine, though. But yeah, we have enough shielding to deal with what they're doing. Just in case of getting to that reactor, finishing them off. And sorted. Back up to normal speed. Very cool. Got a bit more money. Let us continue on. Oh, there's another guy right there. Let's get our repairs done. Bits and bobs lost all over the place, but overall, everything's fine. And now we are facing... It's another Falcon. Okay. Um... I'm inclined to just try knocking out the control room because it's exposed. Yeah, do that first. Then knock out that. And then we'll decide from there. Also, there we go. Yep, control F follows the enemy ship. F follows your ship. Thanks for that advice in the comments of the previous episodes. Very useful. There's the control room gone and now it's just spinning. Is it even firing at us? It's still firing. It's just not coordinated at all anymore. So it's just spinning wildly. We can just use it as we like. It's not going to achieve much. And now we'll just mine our way through to the shield. Not the shield, the reactor. How am I getting shield and reactor mixed up? The only thing that they have in common is they're both related to high volumes of power. And that knocking them out is really important in a fight. Anyway, onwards, we've got loads of FTL fuel now. Yeah, I hear that it used to be, uh, there used to be less than, than there is now in terms of that. The Marauder. Cannons all over the shop. Take them out one by one. Finish it off with the reactor. And we'll see how we do with dodging their fire. Can we specify how far away we are? I don't want to... Why is it... Don't lock me onto like a direct thing. I just want to face it from the front, but it won't let me because I'm too close to forwards. But yeah, let's be on the limit of our range because we will be more accurate than them overall. Yeah, there we go, the first volley's just missed, but the second volley does much better. They're trying to get all sorts of weird angles on us. And they are landing the hits. Let's slow this down a bit to half speed, just so we've got a bit of time to process what's happening. We've lost a shield. They're going for the second one. There's an auto save. That's the first cannon gone, and a lot of damage done as well. Where? Wow, how did we do that much damage to it? Oh, we're starting to really struggle. And you see, our power's run out. Run out of storage, and so now we're having to ferry from over here, and it's a longer trip than normal, so it's, uh... We're now struggling in terms of our shields and things. But I think we've got it sorted. Yep, that's the other big cannon down. The two remaining ones are fairly small, and so shouldn't cause too much, uh, damage to us. Luckily, it's hitting our one remaining shield as well. There we go, their weaponry is gone. Now we just have to cut through to the reactor core. And there it goes. How did we fare in terms of damage? Oh, the debris is now going to smash into us, but luckily it doesn't do anything. Oh, well, there was a bit of an explosion there. I think we're fine. Uh, only a tiny bit of damage, actually. It seems like uh, just as our shields failed, everything else became okay. I, I guess we got the timing just right. We had just enough uh, damage dealing ability to knock out their weapons just before they started to be particularly dangerous. And on to the final ship of the sector. And uh, so far we've been fairly lucky, I feel like, with uh, what we've been facing. The yacht. There's nothing to it. It seems a bit crap. This... Yeah, this is barely on the level of uh, amateur sectors, really. It's just that it has, like, three guns and two-point defense, so it's slightly better than, uh, than something you'd usually find in amateurs. So we should deal with this fine. Just knock out the electro bolt before it starts doing any damage. There we go, and then just one by one knock out the remaining weaponry and target the reactor. That's all fine. Shields are holding. Power issues. But uh, we're recovering. And it's not that they're posing us a threat anymore. You can see the size difference now between our ship and your average, uh, well, your slightly lower than average ship in the professional sectors. There we go, that's that done. I wouldn't want to go up to the next level quite yet. I We might be able to, but I, I, nah, I think it'd be too much at this particular stage. But, uh, you know, maybe two more of these sectors and it'll be enough. But look at all the money we have now. Let's do the upgrading. I know we haven't jumped yet, but I think uh, we don't have quite enough time this episode to go through the remaining sector, like to go through a full sector. So we'll spend the time doing our construction work. So let's just erase all of this stuff. And go back to what we were thinking before. So we'll have a bit of armor on the outside here. 
and then we can put our missile launchers in here. We could perhaps sink them back further. And it's a case of working out how to fit in the storage things, because you can only load in from the sides. That's the thing. These things are built deliberately so that you can't make really efficient systems that keep the the factory safe. You can only get into this room from here and here. And you can only this room has this entire side here that you can't get through. And so you have to be more careful how you do it. You can't just be like, okay, missile here, storage here, factory here, nice and far back. You have to do awkward stuff like having the factory at the side. Luckily, because we're having side-mounted missile launches, that'll be perfect for it. But yeah, at the moment there's not enough space, so we need to work out how we're fixing that. One thing we could do is go really crazy and immediately upgrade to very large missile pods and actually have two of them next to each other here. Maybe that's too much too soon, though. Just having the one for the moment is probably for the best. As for the storage, what we could do is move this out so in the end it was there was no point in building in the first place, oh well. And then have this here. That works well because they can go straight. They can go into here, do the manufacturing, put them in the storage, put them from the storage to here very quickly. All works quite nicely. And is fairly protected by the armor, could do better. I'll make it a little bit more bulky by doing a diagonal here and then a block here. At the moment, there's this awkward space that there's nothing to do with. We could put more crew in here, maybe. Something something to that effect. Or move everything down a smidge. Uh, I don't know where this would go now. I guess for the moment, away. And then I'll put in some more electrobots on the side. They'll not be used all the time, but they'll be good in emergencies when we suddenly need to turn to one side for some reason or another. We'll just have it like that. Works fairly well. I would say. Then. I'll make things neater by having this here. Technically a bad idea, but it looks nicer. And so I've gone for it. Then. We have the facilities now. It's just a case of doing a bit of messing about to make sure we have anywhere near enough crew because these things require a lot of crew to keep them ticking, really. So, moving these out to start gives a bit more. Also need more power now, so perhaps... This... Now count as having enough power again. A bit more crew in the middle. We're losing our corridors, but that's because we're sort of in that particular phase of construction where... We need to add in more facilities, but we've already done our expansion once, and we don't want to do our expansion quite so soon again. Saying that, we need protection at the back. As we've seen, if people have side-mounted missile launches, they'll hit us from behind. And that does mean that sometimes it makes sense for us to have side-mounted missile launches, but I think overall just having forward-facing ones is better. We'll just smash them in the front, knock out the shields, and go from there. But yeah, we need defences here, so I am going to move this all back. So for that I'll do copy and paste, because it is much easier. Copy it, and then paste it one down or two down. Let's go with two. Get more out of the way in one go. Switch this all out for corridors. And where are we in terms of crew? Still need some more. Can have some more around here, perhaps. I do want a lot of armor around here, if nothing else. Also, shields will be nice. How's our money doing? We're starting to use it up. Got to keep an eye on that. I'm thinking mounting a shield here would be good. Right next to the missile launcher. Protects those guns on the side as well. Yep, we'll have that. A lot more of our money, admittedly. And we're now struggling a little bit, a little bit in terms of power again. What I will do... Oh, how will I do this? I will put... Some power storage out here, so they'll be able to work during the, the first strike. But after that, we'll start to struggle. Why am I putting a door there before I put the crew there? Have some crew quarters here so they can easily get to where they need to go. That connects up things nicely-ish. It works for the moment. That's, I guess, all that matters at the end of the day. As for, whoops, as for having more crew... We still need that. Also, I want to put armor up the wazoo on the side here. 
like properly encompassing it all. Back here, bit of a corner, more of a corner, just keep it going out to here I think. Starting to struggle more for money and then we'll bring these out by a little bit and then we can have another, whoops, more crew quarters here. Still not perfect in terms of power or crew. Whoops. I keep doing that. I don't know even what it is. I think it's just that I'm not properly holding down the middle mouse button. Or something like that. Another reactor in the middle, maybe? And then we need even more crew. Money is running out. I don't think we can really afford the extra reactor yet. Can we even afford the extra crew yet? Just about. They're in a terrible spot though. Put them there instead. Then they have access to this. And then we'll put some armor back here. Bit of a mess, but we now have side mounted missile pods with shielding and a decent amount of side armor to help with that. In terms of doors, it's terrible. We should. Do some fixing with that. But I think there's only so much we can do with it. Let, let's just uh, tidy it over for the moment. We're finishing the episode anyway, so uh, give your feedback in the comments before I go on from here so that you can point out any glaring errors I've made, because there's probably some. And then we'll go from there. We'll jump to the next sector. We'll see how our missiles fare against the enemy. And it'll be a very nice backup so that we don't get hor like horrifically murdered by anything that can take out energy weapons. That's the hope. At the moment all our eggs in one are in one basket in terms of power though I've just realised because I'm pretty sure that is an explosion range of that. So all our power is in one place. I will fix that next episode. In, in fact, I'm just going to do this now to help a, a bit. I don't know if it does. Back to here. And then here and this. That's better. That's alright. Yeah, it's all still a bit of a mess at the moment, but hopefully it'll be okay. We'll see how it goes in the next episode when we use it. Also, got to make sure there's fire extinguishers, which I don't have. I'll do those now as well. Otherwise, I'll forget and everyone will die. Where do I actually put them? There is no place for them. Maybe here, but that's awkward. It gets in the way of people moving around. Ah, crap. For the moment, we'll put some at the back here, and remind me to put some more in. Literally say in the comments of this video to put some more in, I can't even afford them. We'll not bother with the fire extinguishers. In the comments, tell me, because I read comments of a video before I record the next one in case I miss anything, so I will remember by doing that. Enough of that, we're done for today, we'll make that so. Everyone can get on with this construction, or get, I guess getting everything powered and preparing the missile factories, but with that I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.